Alpha. The camera is an extension of how I feel about nature. I'm actually a nature lover who turned into a photographer. I've been photographing wildlife using telephoto lenses for over 15 years now. I've been to Rwanda quite a few times and I've photographed gorillas because it requires a lot of physical effort. We never used to take long lenses, but this time around, I met gorillas with the 302.8. The kind of bokeh, the background, the details I saw, the sharpness, I realized what a great sight that I was seeing. I used also the 70 to 200 2.8, and I realized how lighter the 300 is even when you compare it with the 70 to 200. Being a lightweight lens, it opens up a new possibility for wildlife photographers. I also was photographing big cats in Masai Mara. The lioness was walking towards me and I remember extending the lens outside the window of the car and lowering it. Through the viewfinder, I selected a zone AF system and I was focusing a lioness from about, just about a, a feet above the ground, I think. I think 300 is probably the best focal length for my subjects. Because of this lens being a 2.8, it grabs a lot of light, provides information to the camera to focus. The distinction it can give you to the subject in the background was remarkable. And that's when I realized what an amazing lens. A lot of times people ask me, uh, as a good wildlife photographer, is it about the person's skill or is it about the gear? You can't be an excellent photographer with a mediocre piece of glass. At the same time, you can't have an amazing glass but also not have the skill. For me, it's a partnership with the gear I own. And when I'm putting my 100%, I expect my gear to give me 100% as well. So this happens to be now my default or the first choice.